the Bundy boys yesterday, or maybe it was the day before, I pointed out that uh, Eamon Bundy's defense now for having trashed federal lands is that the federal government has no jurisdiction over federal land, and therefore he shouldn't be in federal court. Um, I don't know, maybe you can make sense out of that. I can't. And, <laughs> but it, it gets even weirder. Now they're starting to uh, go through the, the, uh, the federal lands that the, the Bundys have defaced, both near at the Bundy Ranch and at, up in Oregon. Uh, there's a group of uh, uh, petroglyphs. Petroglyphs are, are ancient drawings on rocks made by Aboriginal people, in some cases, five, ten thousand years ago. And uh, one of the uh, geniuses among the Bundy boys drew penises on all the figures. Uh, the chairman of the Moapa Band of Paiutes, William Anderson, former tribal chairman, said, I couldn't believe someone would do that. It was surprising that people had no respect for our culture and our people. Uh, besides vandalism to the, to the petrograph, griffs, uh, petroglyphs, there's a good piece on this, by, by the way. This is from Wonkat, wonkat.com. And uh, Wonkat is not amused. Besides the vandalism to the petrographs, there's also a lot of illegal off-roading. People cut fences and tear up the deserts. One man said, Rosa Parks didn't have a case until she sat in the front of the bus. Another added, the BLM has guns and mace and tasers and shackles, but we got guns too. <laughs> right. The report also documented an attempt at building an illegal improvised wat cattle watering station. Someone trucked a huge metal tank into the desert and dug a trench for pipes to hook it up to a half-assed cattle trough made out of heavy equipment tires set in concrete. Didn't work so well. While the tank had water in it, the tire didn't hold the water so well, but it got, worked great at trapping at least one unlucky road runner. You know, those little animals in the, in the, in the desert? Not, not the cartoon character. And some unfortunate furry thing that got caught on the float valve wire. Someone else thought it would be fun to chop down a Joshua tree. There, there's just, tra if you look, go over to wonkette.com, you just tragic pictures of this. And then there's always the need for target practice, all these various signs, you know, filled with bullet holes. You know, I remember one time I was in in uh, Beijing. It was when I was studying acupuncture at the at the Beijing International Acupuncture Hospital thing. That I can't remember the formal name for it, but this was uh, November of 1986, and it was before Beijing was the way that you all know about it now. The uh, there wasn't a skyscraper, not one, in the entire city. The tallest building in the city was the. Uh, the Hilton or the Marriott or whatever it was, you know, an American hotel. And it was 10 or 12 stories. And they had a nice restaurant up on the top floor. And, uh, you know, we were typically eating Chinese food. We were living in the dormitory in the, in the uh, hospital, in the teaching hospital. And we'd go out and literally for five cents get a really nice Chinese meal. But, you know, there were a couple of Americans there. Or, or, actually, I th actually, at the time, I was the only American there. But there were a couple of people who had been in the United States, a bunch of some Europeans. And we were longing for some Western food, and, as in Western culture food. And so we went to, the, went to this hotel. And I'm going up in the elevator with a couple other people. And there's this guy who is visiting from someplace who is like, you know, Mr. Texas. You know, this just you know, big jovial guy with a giant belt buckle and a, and a Stetson hat. And uh, he, there, there was, we were at the, at the top floor. We were waiting to get into the elevator, as I recall now, going back down. And uh, there was one of the women, one of the young Chinese women who worked in the restaurant, an attractive young woman, and she was standing there waiting for the, for the elevator, too. And this guy reaches over and slaps her in the butt and goes, How you doing, honey? And in that moment, I, you know, and I could just see the mortification on her face. And in that moment, I just got, you know, the whole ugly American thing. And, uh, boy, the, the Bundys are, are uh, just this whole, this whole mentality that now Trump is tapping into. The, you know, it's, 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 it's intrinsic to the Sean Hannity brand of the Republican Party. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.